start it because like of course and i think it's as like whoever this is based on he killed 20 they're saying he killed 27 people that's like nowhere near enough no, then they, see, they, they, they traced them back we, to all the different cities he'd been in. Oh, well, I'm just so saying, two, she's well, like, right. he was maybe the worst right, yeah, serial killer. Yeah, because over 200 people, so that's more right. than anyone in history. Are you? No, the people get way more. People have way higher body counts than that. Yes, they do. No, no. You can't because they never got caught. It's going to be grand. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, okay, well, they the highest Excitement. Number. Anyone? That's definitely not true either. There's so many people since. No, not that many. Bro, definitely. Body counts aren't that much. Definitely Maybe high body counts. Maybe in Colombia or Mexico. But just saying, just saying. History, history-wise, Genghis Khan. Think about one Nazi. Exactly. What one Nazi could have done. No money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with A.J. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this. Just trust me. It's so weird seeing that you recognize Yeah, it is, hey. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices to be shared or the business or lifestyle. They're all good. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he is. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Why is he such a shit director? No, he's probably pretty good if he's going to the real, real place where it happened. It makes him an artwork. If he's actually going to be like, um, what are those dudes called? Um, this dude is serious. Grave Encounters. Is Gaga now? They just need to get out their little Gaga counters and be oh, like, Really? I got it. Thanks, bro. Oh, I've got cold spots. Got There's ghosts in here. Ghost hunters, let's go. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. Yes, that yeah. makes it better. Oh, hi, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. And look for bodies. This if one of us crazy. dies, the production value oh. goes up so much. <laughs> we will have to pay your family. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. We'll have to. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Yeah, let's go, bro. Yeah. Come on. Look, when I inevitably film all of your deaths on camera, I'm gonna have to pay the the biggest amount of uh, of compensation to all your families. But it will be the best. It will be the best murder mystery ever caught on film. Like, trust me. When all of you eventually die in front of me. The camera and will be rolling. Gets. The camera will be rolling. Can I swim? No. It really does look real. Yeah, it's good, hey. Look, I can run, I can do a little so jig. <laughs> but not if I walk like that, it doesn't. It looks retarded. I'll climb up the wooden stairs. This is taking too long. <laughs> no, the stairs are broken. Oh, here, help me up now. I'll do a flip. 
So you're not doing any of this? Uh, no, me and this... No, 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 I'm doing all of this. Me and this guy are a tag team. Okay. And we're going to go find the ghosts. So and you be down to give him a lift back? Yeah, we're going to be like the... Uh, we're going to be the first ones to die because he's black and um, the, the stupid director boy. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm a man. Well, because they're both men now, like in, in, in this 2020... Oh, well, PC era. The, um, the actress that we know that dies. No, I, the girl was the first victim in this, so I'm kind of lying, but like, uh, come on. Um, yeah, the girls can't be the first ones to die, that's just too chronic. So one of these two gets killed first. Aren't you supposed to try and survive? Oh, but do you think we can do that? In this horror game full of traps? Alright, I'm gonna have to do a flip. Whoa, good jumping there, mate. Hmm. Oh, and then you clip through the rock. Mr. Mark, I just wanted to say, uh, thanks for backing me up, man. Wait, about getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess. We needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. So can you choose to jump up? Yeah. These guys do feel like the heroes. And I can't wait till they die first thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's. The black guy's gonna I'm gonna beat up this... This lighthouse in this hotel. Can you choose to be the black dude? Yeah, for sure. It'll let me be him. Okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Uh, and spit? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. Great Storm of May. First, 1907. 187 lives are lost. The crew, passengers of the SS. Cassiopeia. Yeah. Which crash into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Oh, they all died. So sad. They crashed. <clears throat> it was the Titanic all over again. She let Jack go. And then she threw the uh, heart of the ocean jewel over the edge and cried. That's what the dumbest part of that movie to me. I was like, oh, so Kate Winslet was just retarded. <laughs> like, she just threw away a small fortune in jewels and let her boyfriend drown. <laughs> it's like, so she's just a fucking... <laughs> she's just an idiot then. She's just absolutely useless. Couldn't make room on the door. <laughs> and then threw a valuable jewel off the fucking cliff <laughs> that they were looking on the bottom of the ocean for wasting millions of dollars in submarine costs. <laughs> Like, how much do you think it cost, though? Who was in it? Was it Bill Paxton at the start of the movie? Sure. Isn't it Bill Paxton in the submarine looking for the uh, heart of the ocean jewel in the safe? No? Am I wrong? The Titanic was such a dumb movie, looking back at it, like... It's, like, it's lovely. It's a romantic look at, like, what really happened. And the guys really did play, like, the, uh... They really did... The band did play until it sank. Because they've also done that on Pearl Harbor. Did you know that they did that? That they were playing the, the band were playing the national anthem while Pearl Harbor was happening, and they were just like, "Yeah, fuck this, we're gonna get them." Like, <laughs> well, there were bombs dropping on them. They were playing the national anthem, but uh, Jack and uh, what's her name? I can't even remember her name in that movie. Did you do that? In the Titanic, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I was balancing. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. How just you make it do stuff? You wiggle the stick a little bit. And you just go left and right. Oh my gosh, look at what you have to go through. <laughs> what a trial. Oh yeah, my gosh, it's like a Maybe it's part of some of It's like every, every time you go <sighs> through a crack in one of these, it does that. So good. No, but that's every crack in every game. That like The Last of Us. Yes. If you're trapped between a fence and a, and a, 
if you trap between a wall and a fence, you're bound for a jump scare. Uh, I should have given you pre warning for that, I knew that was coming. Usually, someone jumping would scare me more too, but like because because I knew that was coming, like I wasn't even I wasn't even surprised when you jumped. I was like, yeah, yeah, par for the course. But yeah, creepy mannequin set up there. This is definitely uh, the fertility. This is the fertility's. Uh, this is the fertility's restaurant. Was scarier than a skeleton. Look, Chunk, maybe we'll you know just put, I mean? we'll put chocolate all over the floor and, and Chunk I mean, can eat our way out. Yeah, but I'm going this way. Just going to go away. Nah, that, which way do you think's progress? That way? When you see a dot. Yeah, I'll look at it, yeah. Only because you said that. I can definitely get through there. Yeah, it's a lock. Come on, there must be another way. Yeah. No. What do you mean? No, this is just, no, this is just a, this is exactly that's reality. Fence. Yeah, no, but I'm gonna look this way first is what I wanted to do. Because that other hole in the fence is a, is a progress, but this is extra. See, oh, it's locked. Fuck. Excuse my French, but get out of here. Can I climb through this? Yeah, boy. Sneaking in. I've got no light, but let me look at this. This thing hasn't been manned in ages. What year? 2000 and. Yeah, see, this is the 2000s, wow. 9-11 hadn't even happened yet. Crazy. No WMDs yet. This is, well, this is obviously like 2020. What is this place? Doing VR and stuff. Whoever, the last time someone was in here, they didn't even know about WMDs. Read, please. Okay, you didn't read it. Yeah, I know, I'm going to read it properly. I'll read the whole thing. Look, look. I just accidentally flipped it again too much. All right, keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's Foghorn was a successful uh, test. Uh, looks like the uh, uh, automation is up and running. We'll work one more trial trophy, and we can pack up away, pack away the kit for what a um, couple of you have been dash. Uh, Homeless guy hanging out again, bumping up with security, can conduct final checks today, tomorrow, just to be on the safe side, I don't want anyone getting injured. What is this for? A great project. We'll be out of here by the end of the week. Is this for cars? Like, is it for a race? Because it says dash on it. Yeah, but then it's a... It's about the lighthouse. It's boats, then. It's maybe race boats, because they were saying, we'll pack up the kit. Like, um... There's a homeless guy, so there's security. And they were doing a test. Testing the foghorn? For the lighthouse. So it's automated? Yeah. But what was the... Who knows? What team? For what? It for was a project. Lighthouse? The foghorn project. No, it makes no sense. But we're gonna find out. Yeah, it's all contextual. We need all this contextual evidence. To find out the true mystery, because look if I do this. Okay, these are our relationships. We got who are we playing as so? Who is who am I? Charlie. Charlie. My name is Charlie. Aaron. I is cool. Jamie's cool. Kate. It's cool. Mark and me are besties forever. And I'm very cynical, careless, overbearing, and determined. Careless is bad. Cynical. Oh, cynical. Isn't great either. Yeah. No, cynical's fine. I respect cynical. Cunning. There's a small one for cunning, and there's a small one for strength, it looks like, as well. Something like that. Cunning and something. Cunning and... Okay. Resolute. Cunning and resolute. He has a small one of those. So if I can get rid of overbearing and careless, I can just be a cynical, resolute, cunning, determined Maybe man. Charlie's relationship with Aaron. Yeah, what does it say? Nothing. Nothing. Kate, nothing. Mark, 
Nothing. We're all just friends at the moment. We've got no clues. Great. Close. Bearing. We've got the hotel guest bearing. Mary bled to death. Okay, but what was the kicker? So you go back to the start of the branch and it goes, Mary purchased the tin of powder. Jeff gave Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewelry counter. Jeff gave Marie in the necklace. Mary chose to investigate the noise. That's how I got slashed. Mary chose to investigate the noise. Mary didn't have anything heavy enough to hit home. So we'd say, oh, I could have had the bottle. I mm. could have had the bottle. See, I knew the bottle was the right one. Yeah, Jeff ran. God damn it. And then Jeff ch choked on the gas. But, okay, what's this one? Charlie received a call from... Grantham Dumet and accepted an invitation to his HH Holmes inspired murder case. Yeah, cool. Murder Castle. Murder Castle. Wow, yeah. HH Holmes. See, that's the guy. That is the real guy. That is, I think, is the guy with the murder house. HH Holmes, look it up. You wanted to know the real guy, that's it. I told you. But you said there was nobody. Oh, I didn't think so in this, but in real life there is. I don't know. The, I didn't know. Oh my gosh! There in is. this game, it was going to be oh HH Holmes. That was home. Yeah, because he had a murder house, right? Did he have a murder house? Oh my goodness! Did he have trap doors? 1861. Oh, that's the year. They gave us the year. That's way later. Sixties. Oh wait, no, 1860. Oh, I thought you. Yeah. Okay, that was really yeah. So it was before everything was pre-industrial era. City devil. Yeah. Did he kill him in the house? Did the house kill him? Did the house have traps in it? Was it the inspiration for the Bates Motel? This looks pretty old. Hotel. Herman Webster Mudgett. H. H. Holmes. What's that? Oh, I found a little Just pendant. Just a little clue. Find Penny, get up. I got a little pendant. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment Car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Oh, Jesus, these guys sound so gay. Thanks, <laughs> Just the way he's talking to him right now, he's like, could do the show without you. You're the engine. You're the... You're what keeps the engine running in my car. <laughs> you keep my seats warm. That's just, just, no, that's so bad. I'm gonna st cut that out. Cut that out, mate. Stop getting all homoerotic on me. Can I move this or what? What the, f what is, the hell is this? I can't even move that. This is bullshit. I have to look at this front door, that's why. And it's gonna be locked. Shit's locked. Oh, this shit's so locked. Can you help me move this, please? So, try and move this garbage bin into the wall. Oh, there we go. Now it works. Works perfectly now. Yeah, I'll push it right up again. Look at that. And we can get over there. Come on, we can climb up. I'm doing it just like James and Silent Hill. Do flip. Just a little breaking and entering. We're in the abandoned lighthouse house maze. With the devil inside it, in that door right there. Christ, what the hell is that? So the hotel was called the castle that he built. So he was trained as a doctor. And he used to steal cadavers. Nice to meet you too. And collect insurance money on them. After he'd maimed and injured the cadavers, 
to look like they've died in an accident. Ah. He used to collect the insurance money. Then when he passed his medical exams, he moved to Chicago, was working in a pharmacy, and then the owner of the drugstore passed away. And he took over responsibilities of the store to get fixed, the widow to never buy the store. The widow soon went missing and was never seen or heard from again. And he claimed that she'd moved to California. And just needs some fresh sheets. She became the owner of the nice drugstore. And he purchased an empty lot across the street, designed and built a three-story hotel which the neighbourhood called the castle. Mm -hmm. He um, hired and fired several construction crews so that no one would have a clear idea of what he was doing. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a chance to tell you. The castle. What in God's name is that? <laughs> After construction was completed in 1891, it moved. What? The thing. It moved. <laughs> and were there traps? After construction was completed, he placed ads in the newspapers offering jobs for young women and advertised the castle as a place of lodging. Why is it always young women? Because they fucking love it. He also placed Ed presented as a wealthy man looking for a wife. The serial killers love that shit. Look What's that guy's name, Billy? Oh. Oh. All of his employees, hotel oh, guests, fiancés, and wives, until the island comes to shit. We're required to have life insurance policies, so that was always his thing. Collect the life insurance. Holmes paid the premiums as long as they listed him as the beneficiary. Most of his fiancés and wives would suddenly disappear, as did many of his employees and guests. People in the neighbourhood eventually reported that they saw many women into the castle, but would never see them exit. I don't know. We just had the one call. In 1893, in first place. Chicago was given uh, the honor of hosting the World's Fair. Actually, Spain. I didn't know. That's oh. cool. The World's Fair in our town. The World's Fair in our town. Hello, Mr. Lonnie. That's me. I'm Brampton Dramatic. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Harry. Jamie. Please. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Okay, I'm going to call you after this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. And over 100 rooms that he used as running quarters. Mm. Some of these rooms were soundproof mm. and contained gas lines mm. so that he could asphyxiate his guests whenever he felt like it. Mm. Throughout the building there were trap doors, peepholes, stairways that led nowhere, <gasps> and chutes that led into the basement. The basement was designed. Yeah, the basement was designed perfectly. This uh, home's own lab. Yeah. It had a dissecting table, yeah. stretching rack, yeah. and a crematorium. Yeah. Sometimes he would send the bodies down the chute, dissect them, strip them of flesh, and sell them to the the skeleton models to medical schools. In other cases, he let's would choose to the bring hotel. them made Please, to place the bodies stay close. into pits Stick of together. acid. Is it dangerous here? No. Of course not. Through it all, he sure. traveled throughout the U.S. Because you don't see him, sure. It's perfectly it's safe. But we are a long hotel. ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Chicago's economy was in a slump. Therefore, he abandoned the castle 
focused on this way, Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're well. Random murders along the way. During this time, he stole horses from Texas, shipped them to St. Louis, sold them, making a fortune. He was arrested for his swindle and sent to jail. While in jail, he concocted a new insurance scam on his cellmate. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. Home city, take out an insurance Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. Make his own death and then provide You're right. He takes his security very seriously. In exchange for I wonder what he's afraid of getting. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie, he watched too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that for We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Holmes then decided to attempt a similar plan in Philadelphia. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a bit of intro. I need some shots moving yeah. up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate talking to camera. Yeah, yeah. I was waiting for that. Oh, just fake it. He, hey, hey, as just, soon as he just fake it. Two just fake it. In the jail cell, I'm like, this guy's toast. These guys are idiots. Oh, yeah, I'll fake it with you. Yeah, I'll just, I'll I'll just fake, fake it. I'll just fake it, they'll never know. Yeah. The light is good. I'm ready to go. Okay, yeah, let's get out the biggest insurance policy on me. Okay, let's go for tech. I'm ready. Space ready. ready to go. I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like It's all you. fake, right? Rolling. Speed. Um, action. Wait, just get a I've fake mic there for the life insurance boy. Who's that? Genuine artifacts from Hey Hey Holmes Rain of Life insurance scam. I'm heading to the house right now. It's not really a scam. They're actually getting it out on you, man. And. Okay, that's enough. And cuts, we really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas. This way. Tell police about it. And that Holmes had planned it. The police tracked Holmes, finally catching up with him in Boston. They arrested him and held him on an outstanding warrant for the Texas horse swindle. At the time of his arrest, Mr. Dumas is being really restricted. Was prepared to flee the country and police became suspicious of him. Without him knowing. They investigated his case where they discovered his strange and official trying to committing torturous murders. What do you want to do? What you did that time of those crimes. Many of the bodies they located were so badly dismembered and decomposed that it was hard for them. To the oh, oh, damn it. Really. What happened? You okay? Uh, you we should get her up to the hotel. Oh, Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice in the bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. Well, conducting their investigation in Toronto, what they discovered the bodies of pipes or children of the pipes or children. And taking action classes again? Yeah. 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 What's the one? Better way of the land. When we're discussed the because murders, I'm charming. And you can hotwire your way past security. He also confused to twenty eight other murders. However, through investigations and listening to his reports, it is believed that Holmes is responsible for up to 200 murders. In May 1896, one of America's first serial killers... See, up to, not more than, not like <clears throat> 200 plus, not like no, 200 I plus. I those are the ones they can hey, estimate. Can I ask you something and so get a straight answer? But they wouldn't round it off at 200 if it was more, right. do you think? Okay, tell me the truth. Is there any safety Maybe. The There's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information. Home yeah, because nice yeah, because the around. real possessed the 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 haunted mansion didn't want to exist like that because all the ghosts of the uh, the well, dead would come back. Did it? No, but I'm gonna say the ghosts did it to honor their own memory and not be treated as an attraction. Nice. He had two children, which means his ancestors might live on. Yeah. 
in new houses. He's being an ancestor, one of the worst serial killers in America. Uh, I would tell everyone I knew that, and I would never say, like, that I respected him, but I would let them know, like, gracefully let them know that, um, yeah, my granddad killed like over 200 people. What have we got to say about that? He had four spouses, probably murdered them all. You think you could take me? Watch your head. My granddad caught, caught 200 people. <laughs> he caught 200 fools. Do you think you stand a chance? He got up to 200 no notches on his belt before he... before they uh, wised up on him. That's pretty fucking embarrassing, to be honest. Like... You wouldn't think after like the first 10 people would have already been suspicious and been like, hey, fucking, maybe we should get this guy. You know the guy that's like all of our hot single women keep going missing in his house? Do you know what I mean? Like if I, if there was 10 girls I knew just went missing in this one guy's house, I'd be like, yeah, let's fucking stop this guy. Like, uh, <laughs> we're running out of... We're running out of single ladies here. This guy's eating them all. Or whatever he's doing. See, I bet the skeleton thing, like him saying that he's... Or however they found out that he sold skeletons, you got to know that that was probably the least bad thing he was doing with the bodies. Do you know what I mean? Like, out of all the... Is this the girl that's injured? Oh, it's alright, I can do it again. You didn't like it. Gotta protect that franchise. Shut up. Oh, she's the actress. Can you jump over the Yeah, I can. I can do a flip even ready. Oh, that wasn't a backflip. Like, I was trying to do a backflip, but it wouldn't let me. Because I had to fall off. Because I just didn't balance good enough. Shoot. See if I do that. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, she wants me on this side. That side, oh. There we go. It's not that high. Like, it's just the only way up here, I guess. Wherever this is, where am I doing it here? No, it's just fog everywhere, it's cool. You getting closer to the lighthouse? No. Uh, isn't someone supposed to be going to the lighthouse? Yeah, me. How come you're playing as these two now? Oh, because they got left together. Like a couple of losers of the group. Oh. Yeah. Do you live out here on this island? Get down with your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about to... Whose wife died? Let's go. That means that he's the ancestor. You called it. This is that story. We don't stand a fucking chance. This Scooby Doo little. This Scooby Doo group is gonna get wrecked by chainsaws in about five seconds, and he's gonna be swinging around in the air and wearing our face. This guy's gonna make. Pillows out of our cadavers. This guy's gonna taxidermy us into furniture. All of these are locked. Why can't I? Can I go that way? I can't. What's in here though? Oh wait, I don't want to go that way. Yet. I'm gonna try and get in there. Do a flip. What about over there? Yep, that's where I am. What's in here? Better be good. Is there treasure? Yes, there is treasure. I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can. What the hell? 
Cremination unlocked. Turned. <gasps> the heart. So far, I've seen a boat Does explode. Did it look like she was underwater? Or was just the way the premonition was? Yeah. So she was in a chair and dead. Yeah. Was it her? Uh, was it nah, dead? she. Her friend was not alive. <laughs> I think it was her actually. Oh, was in the chair dead. Oh no, you know who? The other chick. Can't remember oh, her name. Yeah, yeah. Erin. Erin's dead. So me and Mark aren't close. Charlie and Kate. Kate are pretty close. Charlie and Kate. Erin and Kate are like two Erin peas died. in a pod. And Jamie fucking hates her. Oh, erudite. Erudite. Rude. rude. Bold, anxious, rude, ambitious, and the tiniest little ones are defensive and defensive and insecure are the two tiny ones that you can't see. Oh, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. She's secretly insecure and secretly defensive and insecure. <laughs> Having or showing great knowledge of me. Oh, okay, she's smart. Yeah, right. She's a genius. But also, that makes you rude. Because you're an old old. And you should curb your enthusiasm, sir. Great academic knowledge. They have or show great academic knowledge. It's a book or a style of writing. Now I told you, Kirby. It was never dull, always erudite and well informed. Okay, yeah, curb your enthusiasm. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. I think there's power. To pay the piper. Yeah, it's got a nice little skull on it. 